Lovely. Hello, I'm Thea Gurken with Peghead Nation, and a big welcome to Peter Rowan, who is joining me uh, today here in the Peghead Nation video studio with his new Preston Thompson signature model guitar. How are you doing, Peter? Fine, thank you. Yeah. Excellent. It's uh, lovely to have you back here. We had you in the studio a couple of years ago where you talked about your original Preston Thompson guitar. Yeah, the Triple O 42. Yeah. And what a beautiful guitar that is. Yeah. Uh, when they offered to make a, a signature model, really, uh, I, I wondered if, the, if there wasn't an original design of Preston's. Okay. And this. Quadruple O, quadruple O, yeah. is is Preston's um, original design for a, a guitar. I think mm -hmm. he, he took a workshop and the how would you the question was how would you modify an original sort of you know Martin style guitar and how would you change it and and this was his solution, uh, which his 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 variances and uh, uh, resonating surface. Uh, and then how thick it is too. Right, you know, the depth of it is depth. important. And, yeah, uh, yeah. So a little bigger than a triple O. Yeah. And uh, but not quite as large as a dreadnought. Now I'm used to seeing you with smaller guitars, like the triple O that you've uh, that you, you demo, and I've seen you with other smaller guitars. But you've also played dreadnoughts, of course. Well, so it, that size is something that. Um, have you played guitars with this sort of format before? Well, it, it's the same as a D28, okay. uh, but it has, you know, the the appointments that are very uh, charming and, and inducive to uh, 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 musical reverie. <laughs> right. Know? Well, let's talk about those because it is uh, yeah. beautiful, and I'm sure there's a lot of significance uh, in the symbolism and, and the inlay and the, yeah. and the there's turquoise. There's, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, they... Um, they wanted to, you know, make a, a connection with some of my songs, I think, right. in my travels. And mm -hmm. uh, as I said, uh, we were talking earlier about landscape and, and music. You know, I think there's a big connection there. So some of the landscape is this uh, turquoise, mm -hmm. meaning New Mexico and Arizona. Um, of course, every part of a guitar is a living thing, you know. Uh, it's from the bone and uh, appointments, uh, the trees, of course, that go to make up a guitar. This is a spruce top and an ebony bridge, and it's a very nice, nicely uh, put on there. Yep. It's not a super huge. It's small enough to kind of like let this resonating surface be uh, um, vibrate uh, very well. And I guess a. Uh, um, in in my way of thinking, this plastic pickup must kind of uh, dampen the top a little bit, but um, uh, you know maybe a teardrop would have. Uh, but I never thought about it. And uh, right. the nice uh, rosewood uh, fingerboard too yeah. is a good touch. And uh, the purfling around the outside here is. Uh, um, koa wood yeah, and from that is Hawaii, really beautiful, which looks great with the sort of edge burst, sunburst kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's Brazilian rosewood. Yeah, gorgeous Brazilian rosewood to boot. <laughs> it's really amazing looking wood. Yeah, yeah. and uh, beautiful center strip. Yeah. Um, so definitely, one thing I've always liked about Thompson guitars is that the the woods really speak for themselves in these. You don't need a lot of appointments to draw the attention to uh, to the guitar. And this is really between the back and sides. Beautiful spruce top. I'm assuming it's Adirondack spruce top. I don't know. Um, yeah. But I think um, so. Yeah, very nice. It the looks like grain it. gets a little mm -hmm. wider toward the outside here. Yeah, um, it's a uh, <clears throat> Gareth did the original. Uh, Portioning of the yep. of the things. Yeah. Wonderful work. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, the, anything specific about the the position marker fingerboard well, inlays in there? Starting here, this is water. Yeah. They felt that my uh, affinity for water would be there, and then this this one is a a little diamond. Yeah. But they're also detailed, uh, wonderfully cut with a piece of koa wood on the inside of a. Yeah of a shell yeah. uh, diamond. This is a lotus and sort of uh, 
beginning of the motif of the Buddhist ideas that, mm -hmm. that I've been studying. And um, it's a beautiful uh, lotus there. I love that. And then here we have the sign of uh, the, the New Mexico, mm -hmm. uh, you know, sign of uh, what I guess the great spirit of the Southwest, the New Mexico version, uh, you know, four directions. It's also a little bit of a compass. Yeah. You know, with shell and yep. again koa wood. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. And um, and turquoise. Yeah. And then up here is a um, a buffalo skull. Yeah. Which is a symbol for the uh, the sun dance and the enduring spirit of the Native American people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then even on the top, there's a, yet a further. And the pegate there, yeah, it really continues. Yeah. Okay. This this pegate. This is the Buddhist endless knot. Okay. Which is the uh, indwelling spirit that uh, that animates all living things, and also the uh, sign of uh, music as it evolves from space, the reverberation of sound, mm -hmm. which is a, a sort of a an inspiring way of thinking of of music. Awesome. You know, because of resonance yep. and reverberation, yep. it is, we work with that all the yep. time. Yeah, oh, beautiful. So have you recorded or performed with the guitar yet? I've been performing with it exclusively since yeah. uh, since um, the week of the IBMA. Okay. And I love the, the mid-range of it. Uh, there's several things to love about it. Yep. Uh, and when I use it as a bluegrass guitar, primarily I put a 13s on it, you know, yeah. which it's just much more of a, a bluegrass rhythm guitar. But uh, I, when I'm just playing for you know songwriting and being at home, I, I like the uh, 12 gauge, like the lighter, yeah. or, or even the 11s. Okay. If, you know, if you can work with your yeah. finger picking a lot, yeah. it's a very yeah. flexible instrument. But yeah. um, the all the guitars that I played, except the D28s that I normally play in bluegrass, um, they, uh, the the triple O's that I love, they usually end right here mm -hmm. at the, the 12, 12 fret. fret. Neck, yeah. So this is a 14 fret. Well, that's new to me, and it's led me to hear things like. You know, Having fun exploring yeah, some oh, new yeah, very, a very explorative Great. instrument. Yeah. Did you tell them anything about the neck shape that you wanted on this guitar? No, or it's just going to go with yeah, one of their standard options. Garrett told me what he was going to yeah. do, and I thought yeah. that was good. You know, it's just there's a slight V, but it's yeah. really more of a. That sounds like their standard neck shape that yeah. I've uh, felt. But I, I, I find it very comfortable. Which, well, why don't we have you play a little bit on it and uh, hear what it sounds like? It's already sitting here, being a foot and a half away from it.
That's beautiful, Peter. Thank you. Really, a, well, a great song, but lovely sounding guitar to accompany yourself with yeah. on that. So uh, these guitars are being made now. They're limited to 15, mm -hmm. I think, they're going to make of these. Yeah, something like that. If people are interested, you should probably call your Preston Thompson dealer very soon. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to go fast. Um, and they're available in... In the D28. Uh, right, you can the get them in the, tri in the quadruple O and, and the dreadnought you, you format. Can choose your yeah, wood, you can choose your you know, wood. Yeah, so there's Beautiful. different ranges. Great. But um, I, I'm really honored that, uh, that I have this, this instrument. It's uh, coming at the time of the, the Bluegrass Hall of Fame inducement. <laughs> and I was going to mention that earlier. Big congratulations on that. And it's a real honor to have you here in the studio and uh, showing, showing us the guitar. So thanks so much for coming in. Let me play just one more thing here. Well, I'm waiting for Elijah. He's been gone so long now. I'm waiting for Elijah. I hope he's coming soon. Here I've gone and set a place for Waiting. 